The roping competition gets underway tonight at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. And boy, are we blessed to have a cowboy with us this morning. This is one of the competitors, eight time world champion calf roper Fred Woodfield from Hockley. Welcome, cowboy. Thank we you. are so glad you're with us this morning. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. This is a big deal. And I mean, you are just as good as it gets. How does it feel to be back in the hometown area competing? Well, it feels great. You know, the rodeo rolls around here every year and it's uh, kind of the, the culmination of all the big rodeos and Houston winds it down. So it's it's great to not be on the road and be able to drive 45 miles or so and come down here and have a chance to win about 60 grand. You have to be one tough cookie. Tell us a little bit about what you go through in these competitions and what's going through your mind and how do you stay so focused to be able to pull it off to be eight time champ? Well, it, it's a year to year process. You know, it starts out at uh, January and it, it culminates it in December at the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas. And, you know, it's a pretty rigorous year of traveling up and down the road and going to price. 75 or 80 rodeos a year to uh, get to the national finals, but to be able to compete here in Houston and have a chance to win a lot of money, it's great. So besides all the different competitions that you're involved in, are you practicing every spare moment or, or how does that work? Well, I, I try to rope some every day. I practiced about two hours yesterday and probably going to skip it today. Got some other stuff lined up this afternoon and uh, I'll just get ready to compete mentally tonight at the rodeo. Well, I can't help but notice that you have rope in hand and I'm scared to say that he's going to uh, help me <laughs> try to rope our friend here and I'm glad that at least we don't have a moving target, Fred. Oh, it, it'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be okay. All right, so what do we do now? Do I have to swing this over my head? I think so. You got it. <laughs> You gotta at least swing it over your head so you can throw it. What about a uh, underhand move? Can I try to pull that off? Go. All right, I'm gonna hand right, you the mic. Right hand. We're gonna let you hold on to this. All right. Okay. Okay. Now what do I do? Just just twirl it over your head. What swing about it your head? Around. You're fine. <laughs> I won't. You won't hit me. There you go. Yeah. Oh. oh. oh so <laughs> but so far away. <laughs> Fortun unfortunately, that happens. Todd, is getting a really good laugh out of this. Todd, is, shall, shall I be a cowgirl? Should this be my next stint? And he says, yes, I can't believe I got the approval. It's not that easy to do, and I did not have a moving target, as we saw. You know what, though? And you know what? One inch away doesn't count in this competition. No, ma'am, it does not. <laughs> if, if you spend about three or four days with me, I could have you catching it overnight. Well, I guess uh, you're going to be in Houston for the next three or four days. I'm yes, ready for my for my, uh, all the rules and, and how to work this out. Let's talk about any children who really might be interested in doing this because there are so many kids in our area who would love to be just like you. Well, believe it, believe it or not, I started this whenever I was actually about seven years old and I got started by a guy named Roy Moffat and my mom worked for their company. And, uh, you know, just up through the years, he saw the potential that I had as a young kid doing it. So, I mean, if you live here in Houston, I've got a website and I have schools and stuff. And, uh, you know, all you got to do is get on my website and drop a few lines and we'll try to get together and I can get you started that way. Or if you know somebody else locally that, that ropes and stuff, that you pursue it that way. Quickly tell us your website. It's fredwhitfield.com. We will put a link to that on our website because we want to get your word out. You're doing such great for our community. Congratulations to you. I mean, what a champ you are. And we are going to be cheering you on every step of the Thank way. Thank you.